In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Amen. now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, by his passion and cross, be brought into the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Today, we celebrate the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary lived to love, serve and obey God. She was the perfect example of hope, love, prayer, kindness, humility, compassion and faith. At this Eucharist, we ask God the grace to help us to be like Mother Mary, to grow up in faith hope and love. As we celebrate the day of the girl child, we pray for all the girls throughout the world who face various challenges in their daily lives. For this Eucharist, for all the intentions of our parishioners, we pray in a special way for all the girl children, for their protection in the wombs of their mothers, for their protection in every aspect of their lives.
Let us celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for from her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we ask her protection in this difficult time that we are living in that she may be with us, with our family members, with our parish, that we may hold on to the faith that was handed down to us, that just as Mary, our mother, was faithful, that we too may be faithful to God and His Church. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. We sing the Gloria.
let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to His purpose. For those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And for those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of justice, Christ our God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew 
Glory be to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To the words of the Holy Gospel, may our sins be loved. We are all aware that when our Lord Jesus died on the cross, he gave the Blessed Virgin Mary to Saint John. And so we also are aware that Saint John had a brother, St. James, who also had a great love for the Blessed Virgin Mary. And St. James, the Apostle, went to Spain to preach the good news. And as he went to the northern parts of Spain, he encountered a tough kind of people, hard-headed, who were not willing to open themselves to the good news of Jesus Christ. And St. James was dejected, he was disturbed, and he remembered that our Blessed Mother had told him that whenever he needed her the most, she would be there for him. And so he is sitting on the river Ebro, on the banks of the river Ebro, and there he is earnestly praying, praying to God and asking the Blessed Mother, who was still alive, in AD 40 in Jerusalem. And as we, if you read the mystical city of God by Venerable Mary of Agreda, she describes this powerful event that St. James has the vision and the apparition. She sees the apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary. When she is still alive in Jerusalem, she also appears to him in a cloud with a lot of angels and there she encourages him firstly helping him with that strength that he needs to evangelize the north of Spain and secondly also to prepare him for the martyrdom that he would have to come back to Jerusalem and suffer for the cause of Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, St. James was no longer the same after that experience. Our Lady gifts him and the people of Spain and the whole world something very powerful. It's a pillar, it's called El Pilar in Spanish, a pillar which is given as a gift and on that there is a small image of the Blessed Virgin Mary with the child Jesus. This pillar has lasted for the last 2,000 years and it is still strong. There have been so many wars fought 
in the city of Saragossa in Spain. And yet, this pillar and Our Lady with the child Jesus is intact. My dear brothers and sisters, St. James was having that great devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. After doing his work, he came back to Jerusalem. There, Herod beheaded him and he was the first apostle to die a martyr's death. And we know that his body was taken back to Spain in Santiago de Compostela, where his remains are still there. He is called the Apostle of Spain. My dear brothers and sisters, this pillar of Our Lady has had uh, influenced the lives of many people. Many people have experienced a lot of healings, miracles. And the most powerful miracle happened on 29th March 1640. Miguel Juan Pelitzer had experienced an amputation of his leg. He had only one leg and he used to go to uh, the city of Saragossa to the Basilica of Our Lady of Pilar, which is now a basilica. Earlier it was a church. And he used to go and beg. Many people saw that he had only one leg, but he had great devotion to Our Lady of Pilar. And so he used to take the oil and apply on the stump of the place where he had lost his leg. And he had such great faith that he believed that Our Lady will do something marvelous and something powerful which will bring about some kind of powerful experience in him but he didn't know what it was. And it so happened on 29 March 1640, he had gone to his hometown in Calanda in Spain. And there he stayed overnight with his parents. And there was also a soldier who was there resting at Miguel Juan Miguel's, Miguel Juan's place where he also was resting. So in the night, they heard a loud noise and so the parents got startled and they went to see what has happened to their son. And when they see, they see under the bed sheet that there are two legs. And so they think maybe it is a soldier who has exchanged the bed with their son. And when they remove the bed sheet, they see he has both the legs intact. The son has received the leg from the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is a recorded miracle in the 17th century, which is recorded and proved by many physicians that indeed his leg was replaced. My dear brothers and sisters, when we look at the apparitions, there are so many apparitions which have happened in the time and course of history where our Blessed Mother has time and again appeared. This is the first recorded apparition, Our Lady of Pilar in 40 AD. And she was still alive at that time in Jerusalem. My dear brothers and sisters, what is the purpose of the apparition? Firstly, we always see that there are individuals who experience a powerful encounter with God through the help of Our Lady. Our Lady comes to encourage. She encouraged St. James. She encouraged so many people throughout history. We see in Lourdes, she encourages St. Bernadette. We see at Fatima, she encourages the three seers, Jacinta, Francisco and Lucia. We see also in the different apparitions at La Salette, where she encouraged Melanie and Maximin. So we see there's a first experience of a person who is transformed by that powerful encounter with the Blessed Virgin Mary. They always describe her as filled with light. And that experience is so powerful that it shakes them to their roots. And that was what has been happening throughout the century. That we see that these children, these people who have experienced the presence of Our Lady, the apparition, are no longer the same. They are willing to go and spread the good news of Jesus Christ, even to the cost of their own death. Secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, there is a transformation of people. Firstly, the ones who have experienced, they change. Secondly, the people who have witnessed these visionaries or the ones who have seen the apparition, 
they see their lifestyle and then Our Lady gives them also a sign. We see in Our Lady of Guadalupe that Our Lady gives the tilma to Juan, Saint Juan Diego where her whole, that whole picture is there still now that tilma is, is alive, it, it, get, it has a heartbeat and we see that it is still intact in Mexico. We see in Fatima the miracle of the sun where more than a lack of people saw the miracle of the sun and at Lourdes, Bernadette, uh, the fountain which comes, a miraculous fountain which to date is curing so many thousands of people. My dear brothers and sisters, firstly the transformation of the individual, secondly through that individual many more people see that sign which Our Lady gives and they too are transformed. There are also false visionaries. We see people who say, we have seen Our Lady, but when we say, pray the rosary, they are not willing. When we say, work for the Lord, they are not willing. And so we see, there are people who are fake visionaries. Why? Because they say they have seen, but there is no change in their lives. So when we read about these apparitions, when we read about the lives of all these saints, we too can be transformed with the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Firstly, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to ask Our Lady to change our hearts, to make our hearts filled with love of God, to be filled with the desire to pray, pray especially for others, to do, be willing to do penance and sacrifices as these different seers saw in their lives, they changed and they worked totally for the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, Our Lady's presence is a terror for the devil. If the devil is put to flight, imagine what should have happened to each one of us if we have the experience of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We have to change for the better. We have to grow in holiness. We have to be, we should be willing to do penance and sacrifices in order to help others to come closer to God. Let us ask the Blessed Virgin Mary on her birthday, that as she uh, gave this powerful experience of herself to St. James and she left a pillar, that this pillar of hers may be deeply rooted in our lives, that we may hold on to the pillar that is Jesus Christ and with the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary be transformed and be instruments to transform others. Amen. On the joyful day, when we celebrate the birth of Mary, let us place our prayers and petitions for girl children everywhere before God, saying, our response will be, through the intercession of Mary, our mother, Lord, hear our prayer. Through the, through intercession, the intercession of, of Mary, Mary, our mother, mother Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Pope bishops, clergy, and religious may actively support the pro-life movement and promote and protect every human life from the very moment of conception. We pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, our mother, Lord, hear our prayer. That in our country, age-old harmful attitudes and prejudices toward the girl child may cease thus giving a new lease of equality in growth to girl children. We pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, our mother, Lord, hear our prayer. That unfair gender practices such as female forticide and infanticide, trafficking and dowry deaths may cease and those perpetrators be brought to justice. We pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, our mother, Lord, hear our prayer. That inspired by the life and love of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all girls in our family and parish community 
may live lives of truth and be lights of the world. We pray to the Lord. To the intercession of Mary, our mother, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to accept these petitions we make through the intercession of Mary, our mother. Grant them to us so that your kingdom of truth and justice may attract more and more people to Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the vine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, and may he, who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin Mary, did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless and glorify your name. On the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, 
She conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the dominions are those, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, the auxiliary bishops, and all those who are holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased to God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to your God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as ones who were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, to those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May the smingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Behold, the Virgin will bear a son who will save his people from their sins. Let us pray. May our church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, a very happy feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We thank Father Henry, all our choir members, all the ones who have been singing faithfully all these days, our videographers, Jason and Stephen, all those who have helped in preparing the Triduum of Our Lady. May Our Lady be with us, protect us, guide us, and take us closer to Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Your response will be Amen. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. 
Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.